Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to fix issues with Bluetooth in Windows 1903. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so if you're on Windows 1903 and you've done the recent May update, which was actually released in June 26th, I think, or July 26th, something like that. Anyway, I'll put the links in the description below so you can see what the knowledge base article or update actually fixed. Uh, it actually broke some other things as well, namely Bluetooth audio. So we're going to look at a way today to fix that. Uh, so actually, if you want to look to see if you've actually installed this knowledge base update already, you can search for KB450-5903. And again, I'll put links to that in the description below so you can check out all the information regarding it. So it's actually a really simple fix and the problem that it actually causes is if you're using sort of AirPod type devices or you've got a Bluetooth dongle and you're using it to stream audio from your PC, then you get like this weird distortion. So it sounds okay-ish, but it doesn't sound quite right. So there's a weird distortion, sometimes a crackling or like a, a hissing noise or sometimes just a, a, a really bad delay in the audio. So if you're watching a YouTube video, for instance, there's probably about one or two seconds actually in delay between you seeing the mouth move and you hearing the words. So let's go to the PC and I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, so what you need on your PC is you need to have administrative rights to start with um, or an account which has administrative rights. And what we need to do is run the system file checker. So what we need to do is type in CMD. Let's get the command prompt and we can right click on that and choose run as administrator. So we get our elevated prompt. And what we can do now is type in systemfilechecker.exe forward slash scan now. But if you have troubles rem reminding yourself or remembering this, then not to worry, I will put this in the section below. So all we need is sfc.exe space forward slash scan now. And then all we do is press enter. Now this will take a little while to go through and it can take a little time. So obviously I'm gonna fast forward through this section. So when that's finally run through and it's fixed any errors, you should get a message at the end saying that uh, SFC found errors and has repaired them. Alternatively, you may actually get an old, uh, a message come up saying that SFC has run, it's found problems, and it can't actually restore them. So what we need to do now is to run a slightly more advanced uh, restore program to restore the system files from the online backups. So again, back to the PC, you can use your existing command prompt if you wish, it's entirely up to you. Again, run as administrator. And this is quite a long one to remember, so I actually made a, uh, a little notepad file with the information on it. So the one we want now is a DISM space forward slash online forward slash, sorry, space forward slash cleanup, space forward slash restore health. So what we can do is copy and paste that. Now you can actually copy and paste this from the description of the video below, so uh, you can do that if you can't remember this. Again, that might make life easier. So all we do is control V, paste that into there, and then we can hit enter, and then that'll go through and repair your system image. Now again, this will take quite a bit of time, so uh, maybe time to go and grab yourself a cup of tea, but hopefully this should do the trick for you. Now the best thing to do, I found in my experience, is once this is finished, you can then run sfc.exe one more time, and rebooting the system in between certainly won't help. Um, this should fix your Bluetooth problems. Essentially what it did when Microsoft did the update they actually destroyed part of the Microsoft Bluetooth driver database and it just caused all sorts of problems. So by doing this, it restores the original file for the Bluetooth driver stack and everything should be A-OK. -okay. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Hopefully it's resolved your Bluetooth problems. If it hasn't, let me know in the comments section below and I'll see what I can do to help you. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.